some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In this video, we uh, got a Sovtard who apparently lost his brain in Oz and uh, sitting in a Kansas courtroom, uh, suffering without it, considering that uh, he's facing some serious charges and he definitely wants to go pro se. Okay, then. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And your name, sir? Uh, David Walker. Yeah, it looks like he has two files. I see that. Yeah. All right, we'll next take up two cases, both entitled State of Kansas versus David Wayne Walker, 22 CR 398 and 22 CR 508. All right, we'll first take up 22 CR 508. This is my case, Mr. Walker. You failed to appear in front of me on July 17th for your preliminary hearing control docket. Where were you that day? It's safe for sure, sir. It's safer for you in jail? Uh, okay, then. Uh, that's unique. You must be a pod boss or something like that or have protection or anything else for that matter for you to feel safer in jail. Okay, well, I issued a bench warrant bond forfeiture and set a new bond in the amount of $10,000 cash or surety. Are you still representing yourself? Uh, yes, sir. Do you want to continue representing yourself? Look at me. I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the paper. Uh... Yes, sir. Don't have any money to. Pardon? Yes, I guess I represent myself. Okay. You understand that if you can't afford to hire an attorney, one would be appointed for you. I, I don't know what he would do for me. Yeah, it seems to become uh, much more clear that this guy really has no clue what's going on right now. And I guess that's why he feels safe in uh, jail, because at least in there, there's some structure he can follow. But hey, if you ever want to get out, I mean, the law, this judge is only trying to help you at some uh, at this point. I mean, maybe it would be best for you to get a lawyer uh, if you're this confused at this point. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. Okay. Well, he could provide you legal advice and perhaps advance any defenses you may have had. But if you want to represent yourself, you have that right. I just want to make sure you understand that if you can't afford an attorney and would like to have one represented you, I would appoint one for you. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. And you, you wish to continue representing yourself? Uh, yes, sir. The docket notes don't reflect if a waiver of counsel was ever signed. Do you have any notes that would reflect that he's waived counsel on the record or otherwise, Ms. Norris? Your Honor, I just note that on December 30th of 2022, uh, defendant stated that he would hire his own counsel, and then he had a failure to appear, and uh, we... And on May 5th, we did not appoint any counsel. Um, I don't show an actual waiver. And, and the notes don't reflect that he did a waiver on the record. It just says that he would hire his own attorney. Okay. Well, okay. Mr. Walker, you've indicated here on the record that you wish to waive your right to an attorney and represent yourself. So I'm going to have you, if the jail has one, sign a waiver of counsel. Do you have a form? Uh, I believe so. All right. Can you read through that? Make sure you understand it. If you have any questions, be sure to ask me. Um, there is, there is yeah. no, there is no uh, um, defendant in the, I'm, I'm the defendant in the case. Am I the defendant in the case? 
Are you the defendant? Uh, yeah, I would suppose so. I mean, you're in jail. Uh, you have an orange jumpsuit on. Uh, yeah, and you're in the middle of a court hearing. Uh, with all those clues, I would suppose, yeah, maybe you are a defendant in a case. I mean, where'd your brain go, by the way? I mean, did you leave it in, uh, Oz? There's no, uh, there's no victim. There's no victim to my crime, correct? The crime that I'm accused of, there is no victim in the crime. The state of Kansas, you have drug charges, possession of methamphetamine, possession of paraphernalia, and driving while suspended are your three charges. Yeah, but no victim, correct? No victim in the crime? No victim? Ah, uh, yes, the no victim, no crime fallacy. Uh, yeah, that's a rather popular one. I mean, let's just have a little scenario here where you run a traffic light over and over again, and nobody's hurt in most situations. And so that's a victimless thing, huh? Victimless crime. Uh, well, not entirely. I mean, it's more of a preventative measure than anything else because there will be that one time where there's uh, somebody in your way at that traffic light, and, uh, well, then you'll have an issue on your hands. So, victimless cr crime? Yeah, bullshit. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure I understand your question and what that has to do with your waiver of counsel. Well, I'm the, I'm the defendant. There must be someone making a claim that the state, I, of, the state of Kansas is making the charges against you, Mr. Walker. The, the state of Kansas is the victim. The state of Kansas charged you with these crimes. Do you wish to represent yourself or do you wish to have an attorney representing you? Um, I will re represent myself. As confused as you are, uh, Soft Heart, I would advise you to go back to that mythical place called Oz. Uh, go see if you can find your brain and come back and hire an actual attorney. That way, you'll uh, actually have a chance at coming out of this without much of an issue. I mean, couldn't hurt. You've got a waiver of counsel in front of you, correct? Uh, yes, I suppose so. Why, 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 why do I need to sign? Why do I need to sign it? Why do I need to sign this? Because I like to have it documented in the file that you understand that you have a right to have an attorney representing you. And that if you can't afford to hire one, one would be appointed for you. Um, and you understand that. And knowing those rights, you wish to represent yourself. That just documents that for the court file. What I don't understand is why there are why there is uh, charges against me when uh, when I, when there is no victim. All right, Mister Walker, I, I, I'm not going to play this game this afternoon. I'm going to set this case. Why would play in, a game in front of me on? I'm asking questions. I'm really October. Asking questions. Trying to understand. Well, if you don't understand, then uh, perhaps it would be best for you to. Seek out legal advice, especially in the form of a defense attorney. That way they can explain to you why the uh, argument no victim, no crime is illogical within a court of law. Mr. Walker, your case is being set on October 10th at 2.30 in front of myself, and that will be done by Zoom. That's the felony preliminary hearing control docket. October 10th at 2.30. Um. Your Honor. You've got a ten thousand dollar cash or surety bond on that case. Yeah, um, I was wondering if I would be, uh, if I wouldn't be able to have access to um, certain legal things to 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 uh, to to be able to put my case up. Yeah, maybe. Uh... You can get a lawyer appointed to you by the court that uh, could actually help you out. But, you know, I mean, that would be the, uh, well, logical thing to do. Unfortunately, soft tarts really don't have an ounce of logic in their bodies. I believe yeah, I they've got a law, law library there at the jail. I'm well, not sure well, what, what kind of access they provide to you, but you can consult with somebody there at the jail. Okay. 
All right, I'm now going to take up 22 CR 398. This is Judge Webster's case. Looks like he failed to appear in front of her on July 31st. She set a new bond for $6,000 cash or surety. You've already had a first appearance, so I'm going to set this in front of Judge Webster on October 30th at 9 o'clock in the morning. That will be by Zoom, October 30th at 9 o'clock in the morning. So, again, your bond is 6000 cash or surety. Anything else on this case, Ms. Norris? No, Your Honor. Thank you. Your Honor, was the uh, the time for court on October 10th for 22 CR 508, was that 2.30? That's correct. Just, just clarifying. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. We'll be in recess. Mr. Walker, you are excused. Well, Soft Hearts, you've got your law library, uh, but will it help you? Uh, probably not because... Well, you just don't seem to have the intelligence overall to understand the basics of the law, especially when it comes to no victim, no crime. I mean, that fallacy has been debunked over and over again countless times. Uh, so, yeah, my advice to you, and you'll ignore it, would be to get an actual lawyer. But hey, whatever, dude. If you want to go uh, ruin your life even further, that's up to you. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?